All right, well, Paris, some uh, reaction to the, to the 1,000 points. Well, it was very exciting. Um, I'm glad that it happened with everybody that was there. It was a lot of love. I felt very happy, and I'm glad that um, <laughs> I had everybody there to enjoy with me, yeah. and especially these two. Well, obviously, they would be there, but I mean, like, it was very exciting and happy. Coach Sawyer, tell me about the tell me about the 1,000 point, how it all happened, and so on. Yeah, um, so she needed five going into the, the the game against Beverly, and we knew Beverly was a very good opponent, um, so we had to really prepare for them. And it's not like we just give the ball to Paris and say, "Go do your thing," because that wasn't going to help us win. And to her credit, that's not what she wanted. So uh, the 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 999 and thousand point came at the foul line, which is very um, fitting because um, a half of probably half the points she scores is from the foul line and that's because she takes the ball to the basket and she gets fouled and she's good in and around the basket and B because she's worked tremendously hard on her foul shots so uh, it was very exciting to see the, the 999th and thousand points go in from the foul line yeah coach uh, Helen Ridley uh, your thoughts on the 1,000 <laughs> points as you saw it from the bench yeah uh, I thought it was really exciting I like the same thing as coach Sawyer. I think it was pretty fitting that it was at the foul line and that she was able to um, kind of keep her composure knowing that she needed to to get up there and really stick them um, they went they were all swishes right they went right in um, so it was exciting but it's been an exciting four years you know you, you think about the thousandth point but there's all the points that came before and um, she's worked really hard since her freshman year to to continue to become a, a better player every year Helen, tell me about your work at the foul line over the over the four years. I, I'm sorry, not Helen. I'm looking at Paris and saying Helen. I'm sorry here. So, Paris, uh, tell me about the one. Tell me about the foul line work, the work you've done at free throws. Um, pre, uh, freshman year, actually, my free throw was just horrendous. And then these two had told me like, uh, we need to work on that because it was a very bad percentage too. So I made sure the majority of the off season I worked on shooting free throws. I did about 50 a day. I want to say, like every time I went to the gym with my dad, I made sure he worked on free throws. Free throws when you're tired, free throws when any, anything, any, you're hurt, you're limping into the line, any type of free throws. So I made sure that that's what I worked on. And it's funny that since my freshman year, well, my freshman year was a little rough. So to end with my thousand point, not end, but like to have my thousand point of free throw is like very, very good to me. Like it, it makes me really happy that's considering cool. the work I've done on like with them. All right, Coach Sawyer, tell me about the, this year's team, uh, the season so far. Yeah, so far um, we're sitting at 7-1, at 5-0 and one, uh, five and oh in the conference, so we're, we're happy with um, where we're at. Uh, you know, we beat a very good Beverly team the other night, which was a really key win for us there. Um, they had just come off a win versus Danvers, which is one of the best teams in our league, and I thought we played really well the other night. Defensively, I thought we did a good job um, against them. They're a multifaceted team. And the kids took the game plan and they executed it. They, they understood what the other team was trying to do. And we limited them the best we could and made uh, them go away and try to do some things that necessarily they didn't want to do. And um, because of that, we were able to, to, to win the game. So uh, we're happy where we're at. Obviously, you know, the season doesn't end after eight games. So there's 12 games left. we got a lot of work to do. You know, we're hopeful to compete for an NEC championship. And, you know, uh, Riviere is undefeated. Um, Beverly now only has one loss. Dangers only has one loss. So there is no margin for error. Um, so, you know, tonight's all about getting ready for Peabody, who we play next on Friday. Yeah. Let me ask Coach Ridley about uh, the team and what do you think's come together as far as the team play is concerned uh, this year? Um, I think this year what's great is that we don't really have a deficiency in a spot. We have a lot of kids that can kind of step up and uh, make plays. You know, starting with our the starting five, um, they've really they've really honed in on defense and everything that we've been preaching in practice. And then we've had some really nice surprises. Kids that we thought that worked really hard over the summer, they've been able to step in. Like you know, like Jean, she's stepping. You know, she was a little nervous first couple of games, which is obvious. It's her first year on varsity, but now she's really playing well. And all the work that she did over the summer, she's starting to see see that you know go well. Coach Sawyer, let me ask you about uh, any of the. A couple of names, other players on the team, other than Paris here. Yeah, um, we we have um, seniors on the team. We have uh, Tiara Horton, um, Jaylee Madrano, Ariana Delgado, who a couple of them you'll talk to a, a little bit later, uh, and Brian Chandler. So those are the seniors on on the team, and, and we're senior heavy this year, uh, which is u unique for us. We usually have two or three. This year we have um, uh, six actually. So I just named five of them. Um, so they play the majority of the minutes majority of the production comes from them but as coach Ridley said we've had a good supporting cast 
this year. Um, kids coming off the bench, Skyla Creighton, Chloe Kebrew, Jean Gupton, um, to mention a few. Uh, Jabs and Massey, um, to mention uh, the kids that have been really helping us. So it, it's nice when you can look down the bench and you got you know some options because different teams try to do different things and they each bring a different skill set to the game and different games we need different things. Yeah. Just to close it out with uh, Paris and, and Coach Ridley here, uh, if you were to maybe make a note of uh, one of your teammates, uh, whether it be somebody coming off the bench, uh, somebody that's in the starting five or whatever, who, who might you say um, you know, has kind of stepped it up maybe in an unexpected way for the team this year? Um, Jasmine, I think, because like, she has been working her butt off all summer. She's been to every summer league, every workout, everything, stepped it up. First few games she was a little nervous, but I know for a fact next year she's going to step up, she's going to be the leader on the team, yeah. and I wish her luck with that. Coach Ridley? I'd have to say that too. We don't like to call them big kids, but they are our big kids. Um, uh, <coughs> Ariana, who's right here, and Tiara, I think that they've really, you know, like the other night we played – Beverly, and they have a freshman kid who is really good, Alyssa, and they, um, you know, Tiara couldn't play, she was sick, but Edie, she played her so tough and getting her off the block, and that's the stuff you don't see in the stat sheet, um, and you won't see in the paper, but as a coach, that's the stuff that you notice, and that's the stuff that we needed to win.